morning, 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 morning. This is a Monacy broadcast. Code red, code red, hold on, code red, here we are. Pick up your iPads, your cell phones, and hand me and listen to Uncle the Podcast. Watch out. If you're sitting down for this, or if you're standing up, you better get ready for this, because it's going to hit the air, eardrums. Uncle the Podcast. You are listening to Uncle the Broadcast. My name is Aaron. I'm the nephew-in-law. Here with me, the star of the show, Uncle. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. A hundred and two hundred and twenty-eight, I believe. Uh, yo, yeah, I think it that's is. It. it is. I'm keeping track. It has to be. It has to be two. Well, we have tonight. I am special guest. We do. We have a guest. About about to talking about phones, but I I I have to talk to this man. Went to his place over there at the. Uh, the place uh, and he had um he's a cell phone operator at, into my alley but, yeah uh this fellow is on and his name is what was his name so okay tonight on the show we welcome, welcome. of mcmadley leather cases leather case me uh <clears throat> rob keith rob hello Bob keith hi there guys thanks for having me on oh welcome it's oh uh, uh, um I was um, having interesting things about this tonight because when I heard you were coming on the show, I wanted to know about this. Just to say about these leather cases. Well, it's it's exciting, Uncle, because Rob is somebody that we have actually met. Well, we in met real him life. At the, at the, yes, at the flea market. At the, we did at the flea market. Now that's correct. Now he had these ones that he has them there. And um, I was wondering, um, do you need to know the size of a phone? <laughs> to, to, so, so why don't we start from the beginning? Well, um, I was just asking them the question. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. Uh, that's all. That's all. <laughs> first of all, well, uh, Rob, well, what is uh, who are you, and what is McMadley Leather Cases? No, leather cases. That's wrong. Sorry about that. Yeah, so uh, so I'm Rob Keefe, and I am the uh, founder of McMadley Leather Cases, and we provide leather phone cases for people who are looking for something super cool to put on their iPhones. And uh, when I met you guys, we were at the uh, – we, we had lots of different variations of uh, very, very super cool leather, different colors of brown and black leather cases that uh, – Went on iPhones, and then I've transitioned since then to more of a sports themed phone case. So now, oh, you know, you have we do phones. baseball and football themed phone cases that use the same leather that's used in the manufacturing of uh, Major better. League Baseball and NFL football. Football. That's even better. That's even better because yeah. that's another thing on my mind. Yeah, yeah, you, you got you got me on mine about these things, and this man is on here. I want to talk about it. Yeah, exactly. calm down. It's my hour. I'm I'm perfect. And and I, I was going to ask, when what are one of those phone cases? You need to know the size, correct? There's different kinds of phones. Yeah, yeah. There's the, uh, different phones are different yeah. sizes. Is that right, Rob? Is that right? That's exactly right. Yeah, there are a few. There are a few instances where the phone, for instance, an iPhone 7 and an iPhone 8 are the exact same size. Right. An iPhone 7 Plus or an 8 Plus are the same size. But to answer your question, yeah, we need to know exactly which phone you have so we can ship you the right phone case because it is very specific in size. I uh, Yeah, that's important, Uncle. you got to get I, that right case. Well, I... Um, just for the heck of the curiosity here, I have my phone here, and I brought this here just to let you know. It's a it's an eleven size eleven size phone. iPhone eleven. A fine phone eleven. Now, um, what would that fit in a in a uh, Rams set? Uh, Rams um, football, maybe the football football case. um case like. Yep. 
So we have two versions of, of the football phone case for the iPhone 11. Now, keep in yeah. mind, there's an iPhone 11, there's yeah. an iPhone 11 Pro, and there's an iPhone 11 Pro Max. So I'm assuming you're talking about the iPhone 11. Yeah. And there's two versions of that. So we have a football phone case that, again, is made out of NFL foot Wilson, Wilson NFL leather. I like and that. With the, just the leather, but also with the lace. So if you think about... If you, if you pick up a football and you want to throw it, there's a lace that you put your fingers on. We produce a phone case that's got that lace as well. So we've got both of those options for the iPhone 11. Oh. it's Yeah. yeah. It's got all the bases covered there, Uncle. Now, Uncle, you remember that you remember meeting Rob yeah, yeah. at the Rose Bowl. Yeah, we, yeah. we, at the time, were set up with our Amr Scooter booth. Uh, Amr Scooter, yeah. We had Amr Scooters from the yeah. city. I remember that. Yeah, you remember yeah. the Amr Scooters, yeah. Rob? Oh, oh. those... You guys, those were awesome. Those were right. awesome. So you guys, are you guys still promoting those? We we are not now. I mean, I, uh, I still uh, love yeah. them, and we still have them. Yeah, but we, we just don't them. really have a viable way to sell them. So we are we moved on to other things, but I still absolutely love them. Yeah. And the idea of, yeah, like, were... if we had some sort of brick-and-mortar rental operation, I, I have no doubt that they would they would excel, and I, I still absolutely love them. So. And, and, and the... the being at the Rose Bowl was such a good memory. Uh, we, Uncle and I, both enjoyed that game day, and meeting you was was fun too. It's like, oh man, like because you were set up right next to us, and I uh, clearly remember the baseball phone case that you had. It's like, yeah, this is made out of baseball leather, and that's them. Oh, that's them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you remember that, right, Uncle? Yeah, yeah. But I don't remember the sports one. Well, the, they didn't the, have the sports. The football one at the is time. a newer one. Is that well, right? With that. But yeah, what, what got when, when we were there that day, you guys, we did not have the football ones. No. But I will also let you guys know, I remember you guys distinctly enjoyed <laughs> spending the day with you. You know, it's funny because pe- people don't realize, you know, if, 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 if you're not that familiar with the Rose Bowl flea market, it is the premier flea market in the country. And, you know, I don't know how many thousands of people show up for this thing, but it is a great experience I loved it. Loved meeting and, and hanging out with you guys for the day because once you're there and you're set up, you're fixed, right? You're not going anywhere. You're there all day with the people next to you. And I just right. had a great time with you guys. And I really do remember those Amish scooters. I thought those were just the, the coolest thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I still love them. And, and uh, yeah, Uncle and I, we went to the factory that one time. And we met, oh, yeah, um, we went to the factory. I was looking owner. for a purple one. Of course, and we couldn't we couldn't get it because <laughs> couldn't ship it right. And I want this purple one. I still want this purple one. Yeah, yeah. And but <laughs> it's up where he his parents lives. Yeah. up in that area, and, and I wanted to get that, but at at the time, because it fit my description of riding, I can ride around. Since my other bike is hung up, can't get it down. <laughs> Yeah, and, my tie is fixed. And they love but, Amish scooters in but, the chat room. We've got Creative yeah. Accidents. He says, I love Amish scooters. So we got Creative Accidents. Yeah. We've got Ray in the chat room on Twitch. We've yeah. got Lucum. So, yeah, uh, Rob, we do a live stream video. So we're doing that in addition to the radio show. And I'm showing people images of uh, the McMadley website. And they can see the uh, football and the baseball phone cases. So we got everything all set up here. We're having... We're uh, we're enjoying ourselves Where's here. The, uh, That's terrific. Thank you guys. Tape ones. It. Where are the football ones? The foot. Oh, do you want to see? Here, I'll show I, you I, the foot. I'll, I'll show Uncle. To... So you can see that, right, Uncle? You see yeah. the football case there? I want to see the. I see baseball case. You do. Okay. Well, there, here's see the football. It's got the it's got the stitching on the back. There. Oh no! You now see? those are nice. Yeah. yeah. I like this kind of um, thing. This is what gets my attention. That's Anything a- with where they will get my attention. I mean, you're in the business selling these cases. I know, I understand, but this, but this gets my, this gets my hmm, trying to look at them things. Yeah, and and they're very aesthetically pleasing, no doubt about it. Uh, I mean, yeah, you yeah. look at it, it's like that's a football, or right. that's a baseball. That's- you know, the thing, the, the thing that the feedback that we get. From our customers is 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 two things. One is it, it it is the exact same leather that is on an NFL football, so that's different. Nobody else right. does that, and it's in the stitching. 
when you pick up your phone, it, you know, it feels like you're holding a football or you're holding a baseball. This, the, the raised stitching is very, very authentic. It feels very genuine, and, and that's the other feedback. Somebody had c- commented one time that on, on some of our feedback that the baseball phone case feels like a, a baseball that was smashed and wrapped around my phone, and, and, and that really does describe kind of the feel of it. It, it does feel like you're holding a baseball. Do, do, does those have the uh, names of the footballs on them? You talking about the, the cases? Teams? The cases, the cases, or just a regular football, right? It, it's it's just the football, so it it is oh. the genuine leather. But we do not have any sort of licensing. That's a whole different uh, ball game when it comes to uh, producing these things. You know, licensing and all of that's a uh, another oh. level of complexity and costs and. Uh, like you know, contracting and that kind of stuff that makes it a little bit more difficult to do. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So Best. you just got the football. They put the case on. Keeping it, it simple, Uncle. Like, uh, that's simple. Like, like we do on this show. That's the I way to do it. I like, I like um, uh, which one? Maybe. Well, so long I was handed this phone, I wanted to know, what is this, an S? Uh, is it the, I, you know what? I am so bad with phones that I'm not quite sure what that thing is. I know it's an iPhone. We could figure it out. I'm sure I it's one that... Uh, I could figure it out. But I'm sure um, we could uh, find which McMadley case it works. And yeah. what's the website, Rob? What's, what's the website? Uh, yeah. So the uh, so the way you can acquire these are McMadley.com. So M C M A D L E Y dot com, uh-huh. or you can go to Etsy and search McMadley, or you can go to Amazon and search McMadley. Oh, they have it on there too. Oh. Yeah, your three channels of uh, of getting access to the cases. Got okay, it. then we'll, we'll do that. Yeah. That way, that way. Plenty of we'll, ways to find it. I'll find it, yeah. and uh, we'll look into that. Because uh, with that, I'm going to say, I'll uh, hand you a um, nice Uncle Broadcast T-shirt. <laughs> Wait, now, don't well, okay, me here. Right, I'm sorry. doing my dealing here, here now. Here comes the shirt. Here shirt. comes the shirt. It's about to a drop. A shirt for you. Yep, one All right. To, to get one uh, um, uh, case, order one of your case, football case. How's oh, that? Oh, absolutely. Uh, that that's what great. I wanted to. That's what I wanted to ask. Uh, yeah. we, uh, we, could, we could set something up. And, and, yeah, I wanted to set something up. Yeah. yeah. Rob, yeah, Rob and I are in communique on Instagram now. Actually, oh, yeah, the, the other day you sent me a message on Instagram, Rob. I was like, oh, okay. And it was like a welcome thing. And when I saw it, I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah. And it instantly brought back those memories again of the Rose Bowl. And so it just put I, me in a good mood. Yeah, I just it, kept on walk. I kept on selling. Uh, we were selling, of course. And I kept on walking around. I go. <laughs> You're talking about at the Rose Bowl now. At the Rose Bowl now. <laughs> and then every time I go to a flea market, every time I go to a flea market, I just can't help it. Just walking around a while. I mean, it has a it's sent to me. Well, but to know you got to have cash on you, and that's the problem I have. Can't help. Well, what problem is a relative term, Uncle. It might I mean, been... that's a problem with me. Now, not you guys' personal thing. It's, it's just with me. I just go around like that. Um, oh, oh, uh, Creative Accidents in the chat is saying that we have to ask about the van picture that is on your website, Rob. What is the story with that Volkswagen van on the site? Ooh. Well, let me, let me make sure I correct this right off the bat because I made this mistake early on. So if you're a Volkswagen enthusiast, that is a Volkswagen bus. Oh, that sorry. That's not a van. So I, not, not to, yeah, I, I want to make sure I correct that because you probably will have, especially in Southern California, you'll have Volkswagen guys go, wait a minute, wait a minute, stop the bus. Yeah, that's a bus. That's not a van. <laughs> so, yeah. Whoa. So, so, so I, I, in 2019, uh, I hired a guy to build that bus. And the bus was intended to be the design uh, of a baseball. So if you think about white Pippen's and red, ball. that's what that bus is. So it's, it's white, it's got red interior, and it's got red trim on the outside. And, uh, and, and that's intended to be a, a Volkswagen uh, bus and baseball-themed sort of marketing tool. So I got that was delivered basically Christmas of 2019, and the intent 
was we were going to take that to the baseball stadiums around in Arizona, college, professional, what have you. We were going to sell our, our phone cases. And then COVID hit, and of course, put a put a screeching halt to all of that. Oh, so, uh, but that's sort of our uh, our, our marketing uh, McMadley oh, uh, baseball wow. case bus, and we love it. I uh, think it's awesome. Yeah, I see the pictures of it here. We got it posted on uh, the live stream. That's amazing. So, so you have that, and you plan on using it. I'm sure. Then you're, you're you are going to go to events when you are able to, in that and you're going to roll up in that thing. Yeah, I yeah. Don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, I live, so I live in Tucson, Arizona and, uh, the, the, you know, we're going to do some, uh, college based that the, the, the two, so U- university of Arizona was just eliminated from the college world series though, but there's a lot of, just like everywhere else, there's a lot of little league and high school and what have you baseball that's going on in a lot of different ballparks. So yeah, we're going to, we're going to come rolling up into stadiums and, and uh, promote our phone cases in that, in that bus. And, it get, oh. It's fun to drive. It's cool. It gets a lot of attention. You get a lot of uh, sort of VW enthusiasts that uh, uh, that that enjoy it, just like uh, just like I enjoy driving it. Oh man, yeah, I'd make a good. I feel like you could design a Rose Bowl setup where that's parked behind, and maybe you have an awning in front of it, so you can see it. That would be cool to do too. I don't know. Totally agree. Yeah, I totally yeah. agree. I I. Uh, would love to pull that into the Rose Bowl flea market, which I was going to ask you. Do you guys still go there? Do you guys still uh, participate in that? No, no. That was the mm. one and only time we sold at it. I've been to it other times, oh, really? but wow. yeah, yeah. That was the only time. Um, again, mm. a great memory. Uh, I I love doing it. I would like to do it again, but uh, I, I haven't even been to the Rose Bowl. My, my wife would go there for her work on uh, occasions she used to do that a lot she hasn't done that for a while either i haven't been there but i, I want to go back because i just she, love the market itself she does have she does have hats for child cats yeah that yeah she so could go if you ever want to go back i could there. see us making it back there back but we haven't to, yet to do that for yeah. her hats yeah. it would make she sense. has loads of hats well, let, 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 I, I consider myself fortunate then that I was able to meet you guys the only time that you were there, and I <laughs> I, uh, I, I appreciate that. I'll always remember that. And uh, but I, I'm with you, Aaron and Uncle. I I love that place. I love the vibe. Uncle was talking about you know the ability to walk around there just as long as you got some cash in your pocket. That's exactly. Why it's, it's cool I am as, cool as it gets. Yeah. I have a problem with yeah. that. Every time I I must <laughs> have cash. I mean, but it blows every time I come out of there. Oh, I'm out of cash, but but that's that's how I am. <laughs> that's the issue. Yeah, because yeah. you get you find good stuff there at that one. Oh yes. I mean, uh, if you find a good flea market, you gotta admit you find a good flea market, and they got a lot of good stuff. You just can't help yourself. If you yeah, know what I, I mean. I, I totally understand. I mean, everything from vintage clothing what? to uh, unique products like the McMadley cases and even yeah. Amish scooters. You don't yeah. know what you're going to find there, but it'll be there. What? And, I, Uncle, we need to take the opportunity to remind people that this is live. Oh, Uncle yeah. The podcast live on Ocelli Radio Network yeah, Friday night got... here and that people can call in if they want to. Yeah, yeah. Can call in and talk to Rob Keith of Rob McMadley Keith. Leather Cases. Leather Cases. This is our guest tonight. That's so guest. if somebody wants to call in, yeah. this is our number. Yeah, our number is 319-527-5016. You can also come on through Skype. Okay. Uh, send a message to our producer, Chuck. Yeah. He's charles.ocelli. Okay. On Skype, so send them a message or call three one nine five two seven five zero one six, and you will be on the air with us. So, there we go. Yeah, you got another another delivery to go from. Yeah. So. Yeah. But well, yeah, of course, we, we've got Rob here now. It's great to have you back, um, Arizona. That's exciting. I didn't know that. Were you in Arizona? You were uh, living in Arizona at the uh, time that we met at the Rose Bowl I, as well. I don't, you know, I can't remember what year we met there, but we were in Southern California, I think, at the time we met. We moved to Arizona when uh, one of our daughters, which is actually an interesting story, um, was a senior at the University of Arizona. So we moved here at that time and moved from uh, Southern California. But I think at the time we lived in Southern California. 
Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. you saying that you did. So I was like, oh, I, I didn't remember the Arizona thing yet. Arizona has yeah. yeah. got some beautiful stuff out there. That's for sure. So yeah, I don't hmm. I can see why you'd want to live there. Yeah, it's cool. Um, yeah. So they, I, I have to say, just again, the chat room is a fire with uh, compliments for the VW bus. <laughs> uh, split uh, window front they're getting rare so yeah it's uh quite so, the pro- there you go. That's, uh, that's someone who knows vw buses uh, yep that's yeah. uh that's ray there in australia that's uh, saying that so yeah we've Love. we've got some car enthusiasts actually uh that listen to the show so yeah. they, they know yeah. what they're talking about and they appreciate that project that's yeah that's really cool to see that i just generally love vans um and yeah, the VW bus is a iconic. Uh, so we're getting another comment here. It says, "Uncle, ask Rob if he likes watching spinning squirrel videos." Spinning uh, squirrel videos. You like witching Bob's videos? Uh, so I, I, I'm not exactly sure. I'm I know exactly what that is, but I will admit, I have become addicted to TikTok. And so oh, you like TikTok? I, I, there, there is a, yeah, there is a very good chance that you're going to see some McMadley TikTok videos coming up, and likely it's going to be from inside of that VW bus. Oh, so stay tuned. Now, Ooh. oh, that sounds good. I don't, good. Know, if gonna, I don't I, I don't know if I'm going to include a spinning squirrel video inside of that. That might be trying to take on a little too much, but uh, <laughs> here, give me time. That's- that's these that's these guys in the chat room that they're, they're telling me to tell you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're, they're interested in that um, the squirrels for some reason. Some of we had it from last not last week when we were talking about them. <laughs> we have a friend named Ed said, "Do not touch my squirrels." Are, mm-hmm. are you saying they're squirrely, Uncle? No, I'm telling it. I'm telling to the I guess here. Talking to our guests about yeah, it. Chuck, we have Rob Chuck. Keefe of Ron McMadley Keith Leather Cases. We're, cases we're reminiscing about our time at the Rose Bowl. We're yeah. talking about his uh, football and baseball leather, leather cases. cellular phone cases. cases. We're talking about VW microbuses and all sorts of fun stuff here. Yeah. It's a good time. Yeah, it was. Good time on a Friday night. Um, yeah, TikTok. My gosh. Yeah, we we ha- that's one of those social media platforms that we have not tried out. I we don't have that TikTok on ours. No, we don't. I know we don't because I can't even get on the guys, other one. Do you guys watch? Yeah. Do you guys have an account? Do you watch TikTok videos? I haven't. I haven't no, gotten into it yet. But no, I, haven't, I mean, I, haven't gotten I, into I get it. it. I love video stuff. I I so I I completely oh, understand okay. it. Yeah, I get I get a lot of crap from my wife who. <laughs> Who gives me gives me a hard time about watching TikTok videos, but the thing is, though, <laughs> is there's a lot of great informational content that's presented in a very short period of time. It's terrific. It really is. And 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 I and, and, and as I look at those, I go, okay, well, I can present McMadley stuff and and do exactly what other people are doing and gain a huge following. So yeah, you guys would be great on TikTok. Yeah, you guys ought to consider that. It's uh. It's it's a it's a pretty impressive, widely used, very well known platform. Yeah, my my ratings might go up. They they would, and, and they if could. they go up, oh, they might all beat these two up. guys. These they'll beat these two yeah. guys on mine, my shows. Um, uh, yeah, in the name in the name of. Oh no! I'm sorry. Go go ahead, Rob. I'm sorry. Go, continue. <laughs> I was, just, I was just joking, saying you're going to take on a solo career. You're going to go solo as soon as you, your TikTok goes wild. Oh, uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh. if I go solo, well, I just have me and Chuck talking. You're going to break Is away I, from Sidekick, Uncle? Sidekick? You're, you're doing this all the time. I, I, I mean, I, I have to get... Oh, no. We got him crying over here. Very, I'm sad. Oh, that, the thought of sidekick leaving it makes me. Well, you're threatening. You're threatening him with the, the possibility he could be fired, Uncle. I mean, that's that's pretty rough. <laughs> I'm trying to get organized with my programs, and I'm trying to push the Linux line over I, I here. Got, it. Hey, I got Chuck? you. Sometimes you got to light a fire under people. It. Yeah, I, I know. Need, <laughs> need to get him organized. He got to get on the pool. He got to get going. He got to get moving on this stuff. I mean. Here he's taking his 
Times on the t-shirts, I can understand, but not... Uh, and I'm not going to talk about... Uncle, I'm not sure if I'm in touch with Gen Z enough to do TikTok. I want to believe that I am, but then when I when I think about doing it, I just I don't know. I get nervous. I'm See, like, what if they don't like me? What this if they, is what, what if they don't accept me, Uncle? This is my uh, point. This is my point. I mean, but, I know I can't do it. I'm gonna ask you to do it because you know how to do these things, and uh, Chuck knows how to do it. But I can go and talk to Chuck to tell Chuck, hey. Can you figure out how to do TikTok? I'm going to, you know, but uh, see, you got to be on the ball if you want to be continuing. I, I, I have an incognito TikTok account. I don't watch it, but my six-year-old uh, uses it. Um, there you go. Yeah, and and boy, does he consume a lot of media uh, in, this, in short bursts. This is bursts. what I mean. This is where we, get the, we can get the people. I think eh? if we drop one, that's what I'm just saying. If we can drop one and get TikTok, <laughs> and drop and drop that other one. So, so we're swapping social media. Social platforms. media back on. I see. Now, I, I see. just want to see if it's more to get people. Mm-hmm. Oh, here's 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 a idea, and we'll run it by you, Rob. It, it, uh, if you yeah. said no, we wouldn't we wouldn't feel bad. But Creative Accidents is saying uh, Rob needs an Uncle the Podcast sticker, which we have. Oh, uh, we'll get him for, that too for his van, as we said. I, oh, I, we'll, we'll get I, them I, too. We're not going to force that upon you, but it's Whoa. an idea that if you want a sticker, just say the word. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Send that on. and a T-shirt. I told yeah. him that. I told him. He oh, oh, you know what, Rob? It's a, it's a tie dye T-shirt. It's so a tie dye that... T-shirt, but we need have to know your size, of course, and and yeah. Uh, yeah. and other yeah. other things. You can yeah. get it to him. What? Yeah. No, I'm I am a hundred percent on board. XXL, send that my way. I love it. XL. There's, there's another one. There's another. There's another one. Yeah. You better get them. Yeah. XL is going it. again. See, he said XXL. Well, hey, I think he wants a two XL. Two XL. Yeah, I was gonna say XXL. I, I got the XXL going on. I, you guys pay, may not remember how fat I am, so I you get <laughs> no, re- I get me an XXL. See, and he, they generally shrink, so I, you know I don't want to criticize my fatness that much. Uh, right, but he needs the same size shirt I got. That that that's the thing. Oh, okay. Then yeah, he, he needs a bigger same one. Same sizes. So no the, shame, no shame. It's it's a popular it, size. It's, popular it's one size. that I underestimated. That he, how many we needed. Underestimated that size because I was saying. But we got them. We got them now. But what what we was when we were doing them, we were pulled up on the sizes for knowing what size people are, and and when we know it, the largest sizes are the ones that you guys like. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. just flew out the th- flew out the windows. They did. And 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 now he had to double order it. He could order the sizes. And he did with us more, but he got more. Yeah, yeah, so we do have double XL. Yeah, right? we do, do have that. them. You too. do that. Again, uh, Rob yeah. and I are in communique yeah. now. It's good that we are. I, I yeah. feel good about that. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. They're, make... they're just like phone cases. You know, they come yeah, in different I... sizes. You just have to yeah. ask the user, you know, what size do you need, just like your phone. Yeah. yeah. I just. I do. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So like, if we, I do. A, see, what I do, I can do it with the fella. We're doing it. Them. See? Wait, what is it that you do, Uncle? We could do a swap deal. Oh, yeah, you're talking about a trading type situation. Bar- a bartering situation. Bartering trying to Barter, yeah. yeah. So I give him two for a price of one. Two for the, oh, two for the price of one. That's... I get the one, he gets a two. Oh, well, get it. Pretty... Well, you just got to get with the program. So I kick. Yeah, quite an uh, offer there. That's Aaron, an offer. Aaron, he's been trying to tell you he wants to swap for the, uh, you know, for the phone case. That's the thing. I- I get it. I get it. yeah. Phone case for an uncle T-shirt and a sticker and stickers. Sticker, right? For the phone case, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's what I was. There you go. That's I why. Follow that. I follow that. See, that's what I'm. Man, why does this Chucky Chucky knows my thinking? You gotta get that in the head there. Mm. Use your head there tonight. It's Friday night. Hey, listen, I like I, Chuck. I, I, I've been around like long Chuck. enough to, you know, look, everybody knows I speak a little Italian and I speak a little uncle. What can I say? Uh, yeah, no, I know. There you I go. I understand, but that, <laughs> uh, since you got this guest, uh, I was just, because I was excited when he got this guest, because I was always yeah, wanted yeah. to talk to him about that. Yes, 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 we we yeah. have, first time we've had you on the show, Rob, like, yeah, I, I feel like we should have had you on long ago, but I... 
I also am excited about the fact that we have you here now. It's an yeah. exciting night, exciting night on the broadcast. Uh, I'm glad I'm glad to be here, and I'm glad that you guys are. Uh, you've been doing such a terrific job with your podcast. So, con- congrats to the success, and uh, hey, I'd be happy to come on anytime. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what, Uncle? I think you're going to have to tell him about New Year's Eve, perhaps. I was just going to say that. There mm-hmm. we go. Take it away. Uh, now, um, uh, ever doing anything with New Year's revolution? Now, I got to I do something on that yeah, that year that 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 night. We do that. Me and uh, Chuck and uh, my broadcaster man over there on the other side of me. He uh, I'll show up. Open up. He'll open up the lines and show how is everybody doing on the broadcast. And we find out New Year's thing. Yeah, we do a so special New Year's Eve show. New right. Year's Eve show, so you're welcome to that, too. Yeah, we start at, you know, 11 p.m. on the Eastern uh, time yeah. zone there, and we yeah. say uh, Happy New Year to every time zone in the continental U.S. Uh, yeah. after that. So it's like a, a full four or five hours of yeah. uh, uncle and lots of calls, guests, all kinds of stuff that happens. So when- obviously he's inviting you to join in on that, Rob. Yeah. You know, there, there's yeah. another thing here, though. Um, just so you know, uh, I, I, I was I was thinking that uh, we, we need to get to... Does he have a website, Rob? I, I didn't hear that part, if he does. Um, and and we, we should should get him involved in that. Um, get, get that out there for sure. And, um, gee, you know, there's, there's lots of possibilities here. Um, I want I want you to know that you're being heard uh, on various continents, actually, at the moment. <laughs> um, let's see, we've got listeners in the Ukraine, we've got listeners in France, we've got listeners in Canada, we've got listeners all over America, we've got a listener in Australia, so Oceana checking in there. A um, <clears throat> bunch of people in California. Uh, but let's see, we got Michigan, um, uh, bu- 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 what is that, Montana, um, Texas, uh, da, 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 that's California again, Virginia, Colorado, okay, Springfield, Missouri, okay, uh, California, California, Georgia, one, one listener in Georgia, okay, cool, let's see, who else, um, what is that, Central Lake, Minnesota, maybe, that's yeah, Minnesota, okay, so all over the U.S., a um, bunch of places that I see on my stream, we're also being heard on uh, Twitch and YouTube and all that because uh, it is a video show over there. Um, so just so you know, you're being heard all around the world regarding your uh, uh, phone cases live, plus this thing has a life as a podcast. So there you have it. That's, that's, that's Not awesome. Too shabby. Thank you so much. And I, I know you're asked about the, the, the website, so it's mcmadley.com, which is M-C-M-A-D-L-E-Y.com is the, uh, is the website, and then uh, is, uh, you can also find us on Amazon and, and Etsy for, uh, uh, for leather phone cases, baseball and, and football phone cases. So, yeah, really appreciate it. Great audience. That's terrific. Uh, it sounds very global, and uh, you guys are just doing an awesome job. Hey, I have a question for you, Rob. Um, how come it looks like another phone line that possibly bears your last name is calling into the uh, switchboard there on the caller ID? Switchboard? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Guilty as charged. It sounds like maybe someone in my family is calling. Ah, okay. Oh. Well, then we should probably add them into it the show. Be, it, Go ahead. Yeah, you, you, you certainly can, yeah. I, I don't know which one it is, but uh, yeah, feel free. What what do you say, Uncle? Should we add uh, one of Rob's family members into the show here, calling? Go in? ahead, let him talk on the show too. Well, yeah. okay. Might as well, you find out who he is. Or you, who who you, is it talking? You got Sounds it. Like a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, caller, Good's you're it. on the air. Well, this is unexpected. I was fully right. expecting to shadow the call, but this is this is Rob's daughter, Mackenzie. I'm a oh, I'm the Mick of McMadley, and just happy to be ah. here. Oh, well, welcome. Yeah, See, I've I've got me, uh, I got my system now. On my show, all kids your sizes up to that can talk 
on the shows are allowed. All audiences. Audience all, allowed. Yeah, we on produce my a show, show that's and, and that's I, friendly to all audiences. Uh, yeah. So that's how I, uh, yeah, that's, that's from my show. That's an important so thing for that's Apple. what to tell tell the. So the fact you that are. family is calling in is uh, very appropriate. It's fine to have you on the show. Very nice to have you on the show. Uncle, the broadcast is approved for general well, audiences. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank yeah. you, and I, I, I'd like to leave the, the rest of it up, up to, to Rob here, and oh, right. um, I'll look forward to, to hearing the rest of the conversation, guys, because I'm a big fan of the show. Okay, thank you. Cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll send oh, you a call and answer, sure, too. There we go. Right. You'll get one. So I, you know, one of the things we didn't really talk about was what yeah. was McMadley? What does that well, stand for? Yeah, and, what does that uh, stand for? So I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. So my, my beautiful wife and I have three kids, Mackenzie, Maddie, and Riley. So McMadley is the, uh, the letters that make up our three kids. And you just heard from our oldest, which is Mackenzie, which is the Mick of McMadley. And she's nice. calling. And she's calling from Austin, Texas. Oh, oh, she's from Austin, Texas. That's exciting. Yes, yeah, so that adds another oh. another location. To another, the show okay, tonight, another location now. That's cool. I All didn't right. know that. Yeah, we'll add some add add some Texas uh, listeners. So uh, oh, yeah, I yeah. like to say she's she's our favorite oldest daughter. Oh, nice. she moved and she's. Nice. Uh, All right. Yeah. Exciting uh, night here on Uncle the Broadcast. We've got I'm Rob enjoying Keith. myself tonight. You enjoying this? Did this? This is interesting. Having new guests and having you're working a little good. Sidekick. See, I'm not all. Bad. You're working a little better. Uh, getting these new people in here. Now, I like this idea. Well, I got excited. You, oh, no, I just don't know why, but I got excited when he was going to come. Yeah, yeah, and uh, we have, yeah, so the chat room, again, is quite lively, chat room at uh, Ocelli.com, chat room on Twitch, Creative Accidents saying that um, he speaks uncle as well as Chuck, and he says that broadcaster man in front of me on other side means sidekick. So you go, there's a little piece of the Uncle Dictionary as written by Creative Accidents, and uh, we're we're having quite the night here. It's uh it's going to be over before we know it, and that's and that brings a tear to my eye just to think of. But just remember, though, my best night is yet to come, <laughs> and that is New Year's Revolution. Night. Of course, uh, that one <laughs> psh, you can go on for as long as my producer there can get some sleep the next morning. Yeah, yeah, Rob. I mean, I mean, yeah, Rob. We hope you can maybe uh, 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 call into the New Year's uh, show on New sure. Year's Eve. We we'd like to have as many of the guests that we had yeah. in the past year call in that are right. able to. And it's, it's just a fun, you know, it's like a on air party. New Year's yeah. party is what it it's is. like. So, them as a conversation. So if you're able to, it'd be great to, to. I'd love to be part of it. It'd be a okay. lot of fun. Right. Awesome. Huh. Awesome. That's, uh, that's something to look forward to. Yeah. We're tri- yeah. trying to compete with, uh, who is it, Uncle? Who's who's our competitor there? Uh, man, doing another plug. Yeah, exactly. That, that exactly. clock. Exactly. That man, <laughs> let me tell you, that man, he's so embarrassed himself. Well, it's Ryan that, Seacrest. Now. Seacrest. Yeah, Seacrest. That, that he's doing an extra show because he can't keep up with his old show. And I'm pushing along, trying to beat him off of it. Yeah, yeah, we've we've got you competition. Know. It's us and it, Ryan Seacrest. Ryan Seacrest. Yeah, but see, aren't I, you aren't you a little worried about Anderson Cooper and whoever he pulls on there? Cooper, who? Mm, to a lesser degree, probably. Okay, yeah, just probably. check. It, it's now let's put it in perspective, Chuck. It's whoever's talking on the broadcasting. I'm on there. I'm on there. I'm on that line. So I got step you. aside. Uncle the Broadcast is going to go over everybody in this line. Yeah, because Seacrest is a radio guy, which is basically well, podcasting. Well, broadcasting. Mm. But so. but he but he not very much in it ever since, what's his name, passed away. Dick Clark did. Dick yeah. Clark. And then Seacrest took then over. Then he took over. Correct. He's not been actually, you know, with it. Oh, and much. Anderson Cooper lost some steam there when he lost Kathy Griffin, so... You oh. know, but he's on uh, radio and TV same time on New Year's Eve too. So, oh, mm, uh, yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, that. and I know that our friend Porkins always raves about Steve Harvey's show, but I think he might only be able to get that regionally in New York City, which 
I understand wanting to watch Steve Harvey. He does. He is entertaining, but yeah, uh, yeah. I, but yeah, Seacrest. He's he's got to go down. That's all I know. That's all. It's gonna go down because it it's just. I mean, I don't see anything of him. Yeah. I don't see he doesn't get it wound up. If I was in some kind of a show like that, I get people wound up saying. Oh, wow, this is Marine Revolution. How's everybody tonight? And everybody be talking, drunk, talking, drinking, drunk. I don't know how they'd be talking. Well, if they get drunk, of course. Well, yeah. when it comes down to it, I think yeah. it's just a difference in styles. Oh, uh, yeah, that's one. They have a different. And listen, none of them have the threat of a possible butt smacking. Because <laughs> oh. that's the other thing that everybody clamored for this past year and didn't get the butt smacking. I know what it, I can get that if we can <laughs> only get to Tampa. I have to get the in touch with the people from Tampa. We need a direct line to Florida, yes. That's what we need it. Because right, right. uh, she's the one that can do that. Yeah. I, I don't know how she does it, of course. That's a fun. And I, but she's the one that can get him moving on that. So she'll have all the content on the crack loom trying, what is this smacking? And he'll be, he'll be going back and forth talking about that. Yeah. So you never know what to expect. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure, Rob, I mean, this is, yeah. we're throwing a lot your way. We don't yeah. mean to overwhelm you here. Yeah. Um, but um, uh, yeah, we're just uh, rolling with it and, Excited. When when I gotta say, when I see this football case, oh, ooh, I threw a football okay. today with my son. It makes uh, me think of like grabbing it. It makes me almost want to throw my phone if I had it. I would want to say, but well, that's what the case. This is what this was interesting. It's it's football just football case. What a football. It, it just you gotta it, get with the program. It immediately evokes that feeling of like, yeah, that is a football. So I I I think it's cool. I think I it's, I I think you would enjoy one of them too, there. So I kick. Yeah. I mean, I mean, to your size phone. The I have one the smaller one. Oh yeah. yeah, the mini iPhone. Yeah, the mini size phone. Yeah. Is there is there is there the big madly case for the the iPhone mini? Do you, do they, Rob. Rob. Are you talking about the the twelve mini? I think so. Uh, that, that's what he has. He has the mini. Uh, mini. So we 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 are in, we are right now produce. We got we got set back a little last year because of COVID. So a lot of yeah, the manufacturing no. facilities shut down. So we're catching up on some of the newer cases. So oh. we talked a little bit about the elevens earlier. We don't have them for the elevens or the twelves yet, but those are being produced as we speak. So. Uh, more than likely by the holidays, we will have uh, the leather, uh, football leather phone cases with and without seams by the holidays. Oh, cool. Oh, so there's a version without the seam, too. Oh, you mean you have there two is. kinds. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, not everybody. You know, it's interesting. I kind of like the seam because, it, again, like you were just saying, Aaron, is you, you pick that up. It feels like you got a football in your hand. You feel that seam. It feels good. Um, but but not everybody likes that. Not everybody wants the seam. They just want the football leather. So we have it uh, without the seam as well. But it's very clearly the the uh, NFL football leather when you have that in your hand. Yeah, yeah, definitely iconic. When you say uncle, like you, yeah, you, you yeah. know that. I mean that texture. It's I just tell the you, texture. I tell you who would really get jealous. Yeah. Mm. Nana would get jealous oh. if I was going to get one of those to put on my phone. When you get that phone, I know she would. Uh, yeah, Uncle's sister, My sister is then. an intense uh, football fan. She loves she football. Is. She yeah. loves football. So, yeah. yeah, and and and. So, you know, it's it's interesting, you guys. I'll tell you a little story. So, when that leather gets when NFL footballs get produced, yeah, they that leather gets sent to uh, you know Wilson. Wilson produces. You know, they have manufacturing that produces those footballs. When you get one of those footballs, it, it, it's kind of blotchy. The leather is a little blotchy. So one of the things I learned that every NFL team has the, an equipment manager that gets these footballs sent to them, you know, b- before every game. They probably get tons of them sent to them. Yeah. But the yeah. NFL quarterback on that team dictates how that, that football is prepped. So there is a, oh. an equipment manager who takes that football and does with it what that football, what that coach, uh, I'm 
sorry, what that quarterback wants them to do. And so this was uh, the Los Angeles Rams equipment manager told me this story one oh. time. And they take hot water and there's buffing and there's all kinds of things. So when you think about what an NFL football looks like on game day on Sunday when you watch it, it's dark leather. It, it, it looks, it, it, you know, it's, it, it looks kind of old. I mean, it looks older. That does not, that's not at all what it looks like when it comes out of the box. So oh. it takes a lot of prep and a lot of work to get that football to look like it does. And our cases oh. are exactly the same because it's the exact same leather. So oh, it, and to your point, that, that leather becomes darker over time. It just gets better and better looking over time. It really looks terrific after a little bit of use and, uh, and holding it and using it uh, and getting it sort of broken in. Yeah, that's that's the case for all things leather. They get better with age. I know I have a leather bike saddle, and I love it. And you know, oh, yeah, it, gets, it gets better all the yeah. time. And yeah, yeah. Your, your story. Yeah, go on, go on. I'm go sorry. On. No, no, I was, I was just. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. My, my bad. Go ahead. No, no, Rob, go. You're the no, guest. I was just going to say that. Yeah, no, I was just going to say when we first started producing the leather cases before we got into the the football leather. It was the same thing. We had a whole, you know, we would hand select leather hides, variety of different colors, and, and send them to our manufacturing facility, and they come back, and they patina, and they darken, and it just it gets richer and better looking over time. And I, you know, admittedly, I still have an iPhone 6 Plus, and you know. the reason why is I have a lot of leather phone cases in my inventory that I continue to put on my phone and I've got so many of them I won't trade up my phone until I run out of these cases because I love the leather phone cases so much oh nice mm. nice yeah 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 I can understand that <laughs> see he's like in a way you know that's how it is with leather uh, yeah because yeah. yeah, I've always liked leather I used to do leather crafting hmm. but never did get into uh, phone case, let of the It's cable. a unique thing. Uncle. I mean, I don't, I don't recall ever seeing I, anything like, like this. That. Certainly not the baseball and football phones. But yeah. Madley is the only one of those. Yeah. So good for if you. I know. Again, we have quite a few baseball fans that listen to this show. So yeah, we had um, baseball uh, fans be interested in that, and um, yeah. yeah, good gift. Uh, Rob is saying they're going to have possibly new ones around the holiday season. So, you know, keep them in mind and you know, might make a good gift for the sports enthusiast in your family. As yeah. uh, we certainly have one of those ourselves, don't we, Uncle? Yeah. See, so, yeah, that's very exciting. And <laughs> I mean, you were told this story, Rob. I couldn't help but think of it with the... Uh, the quarterbacks uh, having the footballs prepped in different different ways. I immediately thought of Tom Brady oh, and his orders being yep. to deflate the football. Oh yeah, that <laughs> flight the football. You hear about that one? And he got he got suspended exactly for that. Right. He got defended for that. He got suspended. He did. He did. About so, time somebody did something right on that guy. <laughs> that's all the part of his special specs on the football, yeah. and uh, yeah, everybody has their own and. Uh, yeah, and, and certainly the the more you um, the more you use a leather item, the better it is. Oh, what about leather treatments? Can you actually oh, yeah, use yeah, like yeah, a, like a, because because there's all sorts of like uh, treatments to keep the leather su su uh, su supple Softed. and whatnot. Soft. Do you, yeah. yeah. Can, do you use that on the case, uh, Rob? You can. Yeah. Yeah. If you, you if you put a little bit of leather treatment, leather oil. On the case, it, uh, it it soaks in and it just makes the leather uh, a little softer, a little more supple, and it cleans oh. it. And uh, and it and it, and it actually will darken it, it as well. Now I will say I will say, um, it, not a good idea on the on the white leather. Um, mm -hmm. You know that's the one challenge with the white leather. So oh. you know. Oh, oh, the white leather is just like a baseball. So, you oh, know, as soon as that hits the not. dirt, you know, it's going to get scuffed and it's going to get scuffed up and dirty and what have you. And, uh, you know, that, that if, if, if I was to give some feedback on what we hear from our customers is uh, two things, and there's two sides of the story. One is, hey, this, this, this ages just like a baseball, which is absolutely fantastic. And, oh, my gosh, this gets dirty. And, uh, you know, it's white leather. It, it does get dirty. But uh, 
it, it patinas and it ages just like a, a, an old baseball, which, uh, again, most of the people love it. Okay, cool. We've got a quick question from the chat room for you, Rob. Uh, they're asking, is there a phone case with a front flap or a screen protector on it? Oh, no, they're going to get you and me. We, we, we don't. Our, our cases are all sort of slim line sort of snap on cases. Uh, you know, we, we've had some requests for sort of the pockets and credit card pockets. and stuff. Oh, yeah. We, yeah. Would, we would also always recommend a, a screen protect, protector on, on every case. So if you think about a little plastic layer that lays over your glass screen, we would always suggest putting that on there. Got it. Sounds good. Now, we're getting near the end of the show here. We only have about five minutes left. So um, why don't we, before we go, first of all, why don't you, Rob, just uh, take the opportunity to let people know any of your social media yeah. accounts that you yeah. have that you, they can follow and the um, website yeah. and anything else on McMadley before we get going here? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate that. So you guys can follow us on uh, Instagram at McMadley the Leather Cases, at McMadley mm -hmm. Leather Cases. Um, on, we have a Facebook page that's McMadley Leather Phone Cases. Uh, and then you can, uh, again, you can find us on Amazon and Etsy, and our website is McMadley.com. And we are about ready to run a promotion where we're going to give away a Rawlings about a $250 Rawlings leather baseball glove, uh, a break-in kit. So all of the uh, necessary uh, components, um, um, uh, oils and the, 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 the uh, kind of the, the wooden hammer that uh, breaks in a baseball, uh, we're going to add a couple of Major League Baseballs and some uh, McMadley leather cases with that. So if you follow us on... Our Facebook page, McMadley Leather Cases, you'll get uh, an opportunity to enter that. We're going to run a promotion here in about two weeks, and we're going to give away probably about $500 worth of uh, uh, baseball uh, equipment to uh, some uh, lucky winner. All right. Mm -hmm. Sounds awesome. Now, do you have any shout-outs you'd like to yeah. give to anybody since you're on air here, yeah, uh, Rob? Yeah, man. Some shout -outs. Come on. I, you know what, I, I think at this point, I, I, I'll shout out to the McMadley team. You know, my wife, Linda, Mackenzie, Maddie, and Riley are, are terrific kids and, and uh, who've been the inspiration behind our brand and, uh, you know, everything that we uh, sort of uh, uh, you do this for. Nice. All right. Now, Uncle, did you want to and give any shout out? By the way, for having oh, me on. Appreciate it very much. And oh, no, we're welcome. Stuff with you guys. Yeah, yeah. Again, when I got that message from you on Instagram, immediately just made me feel good because it brought back the memory of that day at the Rose Bowl. It, it hit me. It hit me when he said he got you on. I said, "Isn't that the guy with the cases?" <laughs> what a way it got my attention. When you, I mean, it, it just threw me up, threw threw a light a light a light tone left off throw. <laughs> exactly at me. I, That's exactly. What? It. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, uh, and um. Really gonna have some shout outs to um some um the sword man. Sword man. The um the um Pure Rob and Denise. Rod and Denise, yeah. And um uh, some uh on our neighbor our old friend neighbor um across the street uh, you, used you're to you're talking live. about Marshall. Marshall Marshall, okay. Shout out to him okay. and anybody else that uh I didn't forget. I forgot. Um, shout out to y'all. Yeah, yeah. I know Rod and Denise do have a podcast called The Corona Chronicles. Chronicles. Now they got the newest a new one. show. They only have a few episodes, but check that out. It's yeah. about what people that they knew did during the coronavirus um, days. I guess you'd say. So check that out. And I want to give a quick shout out to Chuck. Chuck oh, uh, Ocelli, yeah. our Chuck. producer, and yeah. just a reminder to listen to. The 2000th episode of oh, the Ocelli yeah. Effect, which is going to be on June 28th. Listen June. to it. Be a part of it. To 20, 20, 29th, Aaron. 29th. 29th, I'm sorry. 29th, 29th. <laughs> uh, not 28th, 29th. Sorry, I had, to, I had to break in there. you got to give them the right date. It's the 29th. 29th, 29th that's right. <laughs> Listen to the 2000th show on the 29th. Yeah. It's going to be good. Yeah. So the Ocelli Effect. And yeah. we're live on the Ocelli Effect every Friday night. Yeah. And uh, thank you, everybody, for being here. 
And uh, thank you again to Rob McMadley Leather Cases for yeah. being here tonight. Yeah. Um, and we'll see you next week. Uh, it's UncleThePodcast.com is our website. Uncle, why don't you bring us home here for the night? Dad, this is this is a wild, interesting night. So we had to say so long. Bye bye. <laughs>